Yes, Jesus. Yes. Yes. I can put it down to us when I wrote it. Yeah. They told me how to do it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Praise God. Yes. Yes. How y'all doing? You may be seated. Good, good. Yeah. Be seated. Go ahead about a second. Good time this yes. morning. Yes. yes. Amen. I, I want to sing a song with y'all. I want to sing, sing a song. Just, just a couple of verses. Okay. Come on here, Brother George. Give me a, give me a key, that doctor. <laughs> So I don't have to say it all the time because when I come to church, the very fact that I got up and came was to give thanks to God Amen. for bringing me and allowing me to be here in this church. Amen. Now the reason I picked that song is because it said when all the saints are gathered, mm -hmm. they are going to be telling the stories mm -hmm. of how they overcame. Yes. Amen. Telling the stories of how they overcame so that mm -hmm. we may understand it better yeah. by and by. Yeah. Now, most of us, when we get saved, we get saved for various reasons. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of us have found ourselves rock bottom. Yeah. Like, in, you have heard of jailhouse religion? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, how you Yeah. And we hit bottom. We having a hard time. And, you know, we calling on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Others get caught up in that. Well, what God going to do for me if I serve him? That's that conditional salvation. Mm -hmm. yeah. God, if you do this, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And so we all know about that. Yeah. And, and then we get those that, that want the accolades. Reverend Bishop, Apostle, Doctor, so and so, wow. you know, ain't, ain't seen the inside of a school nowhere. Uh -huh. You know what? You know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah. They just want the adulation mm -hmm. yeah. that is bestowed upon them. People kneeling and bowing to them. Mm -hmm. So we got different types of Christians. Mm -hmm. Now me, I didn't get saved because I wanted Cadillacs and a diamond ring. Uh -huh. You ain't never. Nobody in here can say they have ever heard me preach a sermon talking about your prosperity here on earth in terms of Cadillacs and diamond rings. Because right. I don't preach that. Mm -hmm. My salvation is about seeking an understanding so that I may understand him better mm -hmm. by and by because I want life. I ain't talking about Cadillacs and a diamond ring. 
that is of the world. Right. Now you can get it. You do the right things. You can make enough money to buy you some Cadillacs and a diamond ring. Well, well, that ain't necessarily got anything to do with the Lord, our, our Savior. Yeah. Right. Now many people don't believe me because you got preachers that are standing in the pulpit and they tell you, God said, I want you to have life and have it more abundantly. So he wants you living in that $500,000 house. And the reason you're not living in that $500,000 house, because you don't give sacrificially. Uh -huh. yeah. They tied to giving. Mm -hmm. That's false. Because if that were true, Christ would not have told the young rich guy, give away all that you have. Well. Take up your cross. Well. Because I'm going to tell you something. Being a Christian, it ain't no easy walk. All right. You got temptations here and there yeah. that you must overcome. And we will understand it better by and by. Yeah. Overcome yeah. 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 Right. for him because he has a job for us. Well. And it's not about Cadillacs and diamond rings. Well. I don't care what nobody takes, but he told it, give away all that you have, take up your cross. And follow me. And what did he do? He put his head down he do and went away. Because he didn't want to do it. They won't. They not want to do it. No. So now let's 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 get into this into this message. Now, Reggie, I had you to pull up uh, some scriptures that I want you to read there in just a minute. Mm -hmm. So there are three things that I always tell people in my dealings with folks. I say at least one of them every single day when I talk to folks. Because my life is about being a teacher. And taking that candle, not putting it under a basket, but shining, shining it so that others can see. I tell people, see first to understand, then to be understood. Well, so you can't teach nobody nothing if you don't understand it yourself. Amen. How you? It's what Christ was talking about. Hold on, man. You worry about the plank in your eye instead of the splinter in somebody else's. Yeah. Well, you got yeah. bigger problems yourself, but you're trying to tell some. So you come to an understanding first yeah. uh -huh. so that you may be understood when you talk about <laughs> the word of God. Amen. Second thing I tell people, you can push your red wagon mm -hmm. or you can pull it. Well. At the end of the day, it's still your red wagon, not mine. Yeah. Now, I don't care how you get it there. I don't care if you get it there. I'm going to tell you the easiest way to get it there, but I'm not going to carry your wagon for you. Yeah. I'm not going to push your wagon for you. Yeah. I will help you push or pull your wagon, but I'm not going to do it for you because salvation is an individual thing. Yeah. It's an individual thing. Yeah. It, 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 it ain't no group. We can work together, but your salvation, what do you say? Work out your own soul salvation. Yeah. That, I didn't say that. That's in the Bible. Another one is, I don't push water uphill without a bucket. Now, think about that. Look at it. Picture a hill. And try to push some water up that hill without a bucket. That's hard. That's almost impossible. Hey, you, you, you might get a few drops. You ain't going to get much of that water up that hill. Well, that's what you're dealing with with folks who don't want to hear no truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to argue with you about what this book says. Mm -hmm. If I spend a lot of time reading scriptures to people, especially when I teach. Mm -hmm. You ain't never heard me read one scripture and try and teach you how to live your life. I try to give you as much of this book mm -hmm. as I can so that you can understand for yourself because see, I don't want you thinking it's me. Mm -hmm. Now Christ said we have many gifts. I know that I am a teacher. Mm -hmm. That's my gift. I'm not a prophet. Now you know prophets were hated. Mm -hmm. Yes. They were hated. People didn't like prophets unless they were giving them a positive message. Right. But when they came with that negative stuff, man, they didn't want to hear what that prophet had to say. Oh, no. They didn't want that prophet to shut up. Well. Now I'm not no prophet. And so they were telling folks things that were going to happen that weren't necessarily written down. They are giving an utterance of what the Lord has revealed to them. Yeah. Well, I just give y'all what's in the book because I ain't nobody's prophet. I ain't right. no apostle. I'm just a teacher. I'm showing you what's in the book. That's why I always refer to the book because, see, I don't want you looking at me saying Derek Grayson said. Yeah, Derek Grayson repeated. <laughs> Derek Grayson ain't said. The Bible says <laughs> Derek Grayson repeated it. 
So that's what I do. All right. That said, some people, when it comes to being saved, will deal with fear well. in their salvation. Well. Or doubt mm -hmm. in their salvation. Well. Right. Or reluctance. Mm -hmm. Most of us deal with that. Most of us deal with that. Now, I preached last time. I talked about faith. You ain't got nothing without no faith. All right. That's right. Now, if you claim you got the faith, why do you fear? Mm -hmm. yeah. What are you scared of? Amen. <laughs> no weapons formed against me shall no prosper. Yeah. What are you scared of? Mm -hmm. well. Reluctance. If God told you to do it, mm -hmm. do it. Right. Why are you reluctant? Mm -hmm. You don't feel good? Well, your foot hurt? Well, Stubbed your toe last night? Right. What's going on? Mm -hmm. What What is the problem? Mm -hmm. Fearfulness, reluctance, oh, and doubt. You know, God, I, I need to work this out my way. I just, you taking too long. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I don't think you're going to come through. Man, God, it's the 11th hour, mm -hmm. and you ain't done nothing for me yet. Well, All right. Every I'd be lying if I said I, I don't feel that. Mm -hmm. I've not felt that. Or had to overcome that. Mm -hmm. We will tell the stories of how we overcome. Oh, that's, do you understand that that's the key? Yeah. In anything in your life? That when God chose you, he didn't choose you for you to go out and get riches and, and, and all that. I'm not saying don't. You can. All right. But that ain't why God chose you. All right. God chose you because he has a godly duty for you to fulfill. All right. And he wants you focused on overcoming the issues in your life. That's it. All right. Now, all the other stuff, that's, that's, that's world stuff. Yeah, you got to have a job to pay your bills. Mm -hmm. And if you do your job well, or if you go create a business and you hire people and, and you make it a million dollars a year, great. All right. Well, that ain't got nothing to do with your salvation. Right. Nothing. Mm -hmm. God wants you to overcome for a reason. And I talked about that last time. Okay, so Reggie, let's go. Revelation 6, verse 12. Uh, Revelation, verse 12. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seat. And lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hell. And the moon became as blood. Yeah. And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, mm -hmm. even as a fig tree casteth her an untimely fig, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. Well. And heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. And every mountain and island were moved out of their place. Hold on, right there. Yeah. Now see, God getting ready to show out. Uh-huh. He, he trying to get their attention. Now, I done worked with y'all for a long time. Mm -hmm. I done worked with you. Now, I'm finna turn the sky blood red. I'm finna, you know, knock the fig trees down. I'm, I'm finna move the mountains out there. I ain't playing. All right. I'm here. This is the sixth seal. Yes, it is. Okay, go on. <laughs> and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captain, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every freeman hid themselves in the dens and in the rock. Hold right there. Huh. He didn't leave nobody out. Mm -hmm. What is it the word says? God is no respecter of, of persons. persons. Yeah. Man. Every single one of us, mm -hmm. whether you rich or poor, mm -hmm. got to deal with the Lord. Amen. When that time comes. Yeah, right. Now what are these people doing? He said they hid Get themselves. themselves. Yeah. See, now they see God. Now see, I'm telling y'all about the Lord right now. All right. You have an opportunity to overcome your issues. Because mm -hmm. I'm telling you what the word is saying. Amen. Now what are you going to do with it? Because see, a day going to come yeah. when this opportunity will be gone. Well. Okay. The only person that can't change their mind is somebody who's dead. Dead men can't change their minds. All right. 
You can change your mind because yeah. you still got breath in your body. Yeah. Well, but when that day comes, whether you got breath in your body is irrelevant. But these people now see the truth. They instead go in high. Let me tell you why. Come on with it, bro. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us. Hold on. Yeah. They hate the word of God so much. Yeah. Well, Rather than kneel down and bow yeah. and acknowledge God as God, mm -hmm. they are asking the mountains to fall on us. Mm -hmm. They would rather have the mountains fall on them than to yield to God. Mm -hmm. There are people that are going to hell. Why do you think God made hell? You think God made hell just for Satan? Mm -hmm. nope. No, he didn't. Hell is a place reserved for those that shall be cut off. All right. I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. God did that. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you to decide whether or not you're going to be in hell or not. Right. And there are folk walking around in the church every day thinking that they have fire insurance, but their policy has expired. Yeah. Right. Their policy expired when they continue to do what God told them not to do, not, not to do. overcoming. Yeah. Paul said, for if we willfully continue to sin after, after receiving the knowledge of the truth, right. there remains no more sacrifice. No, y'all look at me. Man, why do you know that I was preaching fire and brimstone? I ain't preaching fire and brimstone. All right. I'm trying to teach everybody that I try to have more life, that spiritual life. Well. So I got a job, and I'm good at my work. All right. I'm good at my work. Well, come on. Okay, so I ain't, I'm not even sweating that. I know I'm smart. I know if you give me a book, I can read it and I can figure it out. And if I'm too stupid to figure it out, I'm going to go find somebody else. So I can do all of that. All right. Because <laughs> you know that scripture God say, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. I ain't going to be caught for a lack of knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Sitting there looking stupid when I'm going to go get some knowledge. All right. So I can handle all that. The life I'm talking about is that life that Jesus Christ promised. Mm -hmm. And that requires that I overcome my issues. Mm -hmm. Go on, Reggie. Mm -hmm. Fall on us and hide us from the face of him mm -hmm. that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able Nobody. to stand? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Unless they are among those and all the saints of God. Amen. 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 The calling already been made. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Israel is what you're going to do. Now I hear people all the time say, oh, they've gone to heaven. They dead and they in heaven with Jesus Christ. Now that ain't, script. That ain't in the Bible. That's your way. When, 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 they ask, when Christ asked them to remove the stone from okay. Lazarus, Wait a minute, he's there. Lazarus simply sleeps. That's right. Yes. He sleeps. Mm -hmm. When we die, now there are a few instances where people will carry it up. Mm -hmm. But when we die, we sleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We sleep mm -hmm. till the day of judgment. Mm -hmm. Resurrection. Now notice these people weren't dead. That we just got to read about. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that don't want to have nothing to do with God. They reject God. And whether God, when God comes, they're going to ask the mountains to follow them. See, we run into people like that every day when you try to tell them the truth and they don't want to hear it. That's like pushing water up here with a bucket. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. don't do it. Yeah. Jesus said, if you go into a town and they don't yeah. receive you, shake the dust from your sandals and keep on stepping. Keep stepping. Yeah. Keep stepping. Yeah. You don't push water up here. Without a bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if they give you a bucket, you have to run and say you can pull your wagon and push it out. At the end of the day, it's still yours. Now, I'll help you, but I ain't going to do it for you. Because right. I'm worried about my soul salvation. Mm -hmm. I can't let you drag me down. So let me move on here. So I spend so much time reading the Bible and scriptures because this is light. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come and light on. is truth. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is this is all you need for your salvation. Yeah. Right. So I'm going 
going to read from it. Mm -hmm. God ain't making no new revelations to me about salvation. All right. He already did it. Yeah. In this book right here. It's finished. Now I get new revelations about my own individual life All right. because I have a relationship with the Lord. All right. So don't let me come tell you, Sister Jones, you know God told me to come tell you. <laughs> he, 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 he got another man waiting on you. <laughs> and, 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 and when you get home, he wants you to take a blue hand towel and put it on one side and a a pink one and put it on the other side that, and that's that. That's your God told me that ain't how God operates no, folks no. Mm -hmm. if you have a relationship with the Lord mm -hmm. and you seeking the light of truth from this book God will talk to you God will lead you God will guide you and you will be strengthened to work on overcoming your issues so therefore, I'm not up here to entertain you. I'm trying to show you how to seek life, the kind of life that Jesus Christ was talking about, where we take up our cross and follow him. You can go make all the money you want on your own time. But when it comes to God's time, God is focused on you having more life and more abundantly in that place that Jesus Christ talked about. Yeah. I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. In my father's house, there are many rooms. Mm -hmm. I would not tell you this if it were not so. That's right. That's what it's all about. So now, we have the par parable of the sour. I'm going to read this to you. See, this is us. We are, we are God's farmers. Mm -hmm. But now, we can't grow jack if we don't know nothing about farming, do we? Yeah, right. Can we? Nope. <laughs> How do we grow jack? We have to learn about farming. All right. Because Christ said, occupy until I return. Mm -hmm. Love them as I have loved you. Mm -hmm. Give freely to them as I have freely given to you. These are the things that Christ said. But you can't do none of that. If you ain't picked up the book to learn how to do it. Well, you got to learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. And so the parable of the south. Matthew 13. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat in it. Mm -hmm. While all the people stood on the shore. Then he told them many things in parables, saying, A farmer went out to sow his seeds. Sowing seeds, so seeds this, this is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to go out and sow seeds. Mm -hmm. Now, many of us think that it's just enough to come to church. Right. If you ain't trying to sow seeds all through the week, yeah. you got a problem. Because well, you're not doing what God told you to do. So every Sunday I come to church, I look for the pastor to replenish my seed bag mm -hmm. with the word of God. So I'm looking for the word of God to come from her so I can take some of them seeds and put in my bag. Mm -hmm. Reverend McClain, I look for him to give me some seeds of God to put in my bag. Right. So when I go out, I got a full bag of seeds and I'm ready to do some farming. Well, I want to help some people. Well. Then he told them uh, many things. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seeds, now we're going to run into different kinds of people. Yeah. Yes. Right. We, can't help, we are going to run into different kinds of people. Yeah. As he was scattering the seed, as he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path. Yeah. And the birds came and ate it up. So I'm walking down. Hey, brother, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Hey, man, why are you so happy, man? God is good. Now, that's the seed. That's right. Yeah, all right. He keep on walking. So, I that, seed, that seed down and fell along the way, and it done got ate up by the birds. Yeah. That dude wasn't trying. He didn't even receive God is good. All right. I just told him why I'm smiling. Mm -hmm. God is good. He didn't want to know why. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to know how. Mm -hmm. He didn't even care. All right. That bird got that seed. All right. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Some fell in rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, 
the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Mm -hmm. So the figure was telling me about Brother Grayson, we have people that come in here, we help them, yes. we feed them, right. help them pay the light bill, well. and as soon as they get on their feet, they either go on over to another church that ain't preaching nothing about God, wouldn't give them a dime, or they back out there doing what they've been doing. Right. We're going to run into Christians like that every day. I, I, the number of people I have brought here, Okay, they'll come get a little bit, have fun, you know. Oh man, man that was a great service, man. And next thing you know, they right back to doing what they've been doing. All right, you gonna run into those kind all the time. Yeah, they are everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, other seed fell amongst the thorn, which grew up and choked the plants. Mm -hmm. So now you done got some plants growing from the work that you've been doing. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and then those other ones that, that fell amongst the thorn, they grow up to choke the plant. So what they're doing, they are choking the life out of Christians who really want to learn something. All right. They're choking the life out of them with nonsense. Well, yeah. You're going to have those kinds as well. Mm -hmm. And you have to be mindful of them because they will choke the life out of you if you let them. Well, yeah. right. That's the truth. They most certainly will. Uh, still other seeds fell on good soil yeah. where it produced the crop uh -huh. 160 and 30 times what was sown. Uh -huh. yeah. Whoever has an ear, let them hear. Yeah. So I bring people to church and I'm throwing them up against the wall and hoping that they'll land in some good soil. Because I want them to grow in the word of the Lord. I threw that one back down against the wall. He's still here. Yeah. The Reverend McClain. <laughs> That's one of those I threw up against the wall. It bounced and fell on some good seed. And he comes to church every Sunday. He's a member right. of this church preaching. And we thank God for you, brother. Glad to have you. Yeah. Glad to have you. George threw me up against the wall. And here I am. Still here. <laughs> I left for a minute. But you know what? I knew where the fertile soil was. So I had to come back. You understand what I'm saying? So we, we, we find our place if we are truly seeking. So now, I've given you the foundation. Now, what does God want? I'm almost done. God wants everybody to get saved. He really does. But he knows they're not. And this is why in 1 Timothy 2 and 1, it says, pray for all people. First of all, then... I urge that supplications, prayer, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people. Well. For kings, mm -hmm. President Obama and President Trump, uh -huh. right, right. and all who are in high positions, Mayor Reed, mm -hmm. well. that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life. Godly and dignified in every way. Yeah. Amen. Not get mad and cussing your neighbor out because you know they parked on the grass. <laughs> this is good and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For there is one God yeah. and there is one mediator between God and man. Uh, the man, Jesus Christ. That's why I ain't up in no Catholic church, because I don't need a priest in between me and God. All right. Yeah. 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 You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I don't do that. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, you know, hey, I talk to Christ. Mm -hmm. Going straight, straight to the source. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is one with the Father. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then in Hebrews 10 and 26, the just live by faith. And this is where Paul said it. This is why we have hell. Mm -hmm. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there is no longer remains a sacrifice for sins. Mm -hmm. It means Christ getting up on the cross for you is worthless because you ain't trying to overcome nothing. Mm -hmm. You're still doing the same thing that you were doing. You think you got fire insurance, but I told you that policy has expired. It's been revoked, rejected, removed, burnt up. Amen. It ain't that. It ain't but a certain fearful expectation uh -huh. of judgment and fiery indignation yeah. 
yes. which will divide, devour the adversaries, those that rejected the word of God. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has rejected Moses' law mm -hmm. dies without mercy on the testimony of two or three witnesses. Now, he's telling you, if that happened under Moses' law, what do you think he's going to do for you Amen. when the judgment comes? Mm -hmm. He's giving you a comparison. It only took two people to die under the law of Moses. Mm -hmm. Just two. Mm -hmm. But he's watching everything, every move you make, because now you can go directly to him. Mm -hmm. And if you are not focused on trying to overcome, you got serious problem when the judgment comes. Uh -huh. There wouldn't need to be a judgment if everything was all right. I don't have to read that scripture. And the books were open. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. And the books were open. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those whose names were found in the book of life put on life eternal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those who did not, whose names were not, were cast into the lake of fire. Yeah. I didn't write that. Yeah. All right. I didn't say that. Jesus Christ said that. Mm -hmm. And so you need, at the end of this, and I'm just about done, you need to work on overcoming your fear, well. your doubt, mm -hmm. yeah. and your reluctance. Mm -hmm. And don't think that you are the only one. Well. So God gave us our first round with the Garden of Eden, but of course, you know, Adam and Eve, they messed that up. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the first, they, they messed that up. Then God repented, and he decided to give us a second chance mm -hmm. with the flood, yeah. but sparing uh, Noah. Mm -hmm. But what happened? Noah had doubt. Mm -hmm. What? Right. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Really, God? Oh, my God. What? What? Build an ark. What? <laughs> Two of F. What? Two of F. Yeah. Okay. What? How I'm gonna catch him? Mm -hmm. No, I, you know, no one didn't, no one doubted that he could do it. Mm -hmm. Then we got Moses, who was reluctant. Hey man, I, my speech ain't right. Yeah, ain't gonna have the right words. Mm -hmm. Man, you talking about going up to the Pharaoh? I right, come on, God, really, really? That's what you expect me to do? Well, yeah, right. Really? Well. Then we got Jonah. All right. Yeah. God wants him to go and warn some folk. Mm -hmm. And this dude ain't trying to have no parts of it. Fear. Uh -huh. Yeah, fear. He ran. Yeah. Caught a boat and was hiding. Mm -hmm. yeah. That man did not want to go and do it. Nope. Right. Well, so you are not, you ain't got no monopoly on fear. All right. Reluctance mm -hmm. and doubt. Mm -hmm. now, those are Old Testament people. We're going to give you some New Testament. We got uh, the promise in Jesse, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but we had Peter. Right. Yeah. 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 Peter was filthy. Mm -hmm. He sure was. Peter, before the cock crows twice, uh -huh. you would deny me three times. Mm -hmm. And on that third time, <laughs> he wept sorely. Yeah. Because God had called him out. Peter was fearful. All right. yeah. Doubting tongues. Mm -hmm. Doubting tongues. We're not released. Man, let, man, let, me, let me touch you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't buying it. Let me touch you. Mm -hmm. He doubted that God could do what God could do. Mm -hmm. He doubted it. Yeah. Yeah. So we got fear for Peter, doubting Thomas. Now here come the big one, and I'm closing. Mm -hmm. We got a reluctant Jesus, the Son of Man in, in the flesh. Yeah. Three times. Mm -hmm. Lord, if it be your will, yeah. let this cup pass from me. Yeah. I don't want to get up yeah. on that cross and die for these it. folk. No. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, I ain't trying to do that. Now he didn't say those words. But he was praying that that cup would pass him by. Because yeah. he didn't want to take that on. The man didn't want to take that on. That's right. Yeah. But the God in him knew, don't even wait for an answer. Right. Not my will, but your, your will, will be done. Yeah. See, that's where y'all got to get to. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I struggle. See now, I'm just gonna go and keep it real. I struggle to be there every day. All right. I doubt my friend here. See, Derek, you know you, you, you stand. Hey, that's part of being human. Mm -hmm. So we talk to folk. Mm -hmm. We express ourselves. We share. If you need to come talk to the pastor, you best pick up the phone and call. All right. Call Sister Josie. Yeah. Talk to Mother Carzell. Talk to the deacon, apostle, bishop, you know. <laughs> Come on. Talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. You don't have to necessarily push or pull your red wagon by yourself. But you find somebody that can help you push or pull it for a time so that you can push or pull it on your own. See, that's the goal. That's overcoming. And if you can't get that, if you're not willing to fight to overcome your fear, mm -hmm. your doubt, mm -hmm. and your reluctance, mm -hmm. you're like one of those people that are requiring or asking somebody to push water up here without a bucket. Yeah. There you go. And when the day hits you, if you're still alive when the Lord comes, you you realize what's up and you'll be yeah. like mountains fall over me. I'm done. All right, I love y'all. All right. <laughs>